Consuming Zephon's apostate soul has bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise impassable, but only in the physical realm. In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you. In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. Like a corpse in a shallow grave, corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. The ancient tomb of the Seraphim, once impenetrably sealed, now ravaged by Nosgoth's upheavals, its mysteries lay exposed. In the time of Vorador, centuries before Cain was made, the Seraphim warrior priests waged a merciless war against the vampire tribes of Nosgoth. Emboldened by righteousness, they committed unspeakable and indiscriminate acts of violence massacring fledglings and ancients alike. They decimated entire bloodlines in mere decades. Now their husks lay here, murderers enshrined. Take heed, Raziel. A forgotten history lies within. Know thyself, though it may destroy you. As I pulled the stone free, a sigh of sepulchral air escaped the inner chamber. I was not prepared for what lay beyond this threshold. These crypts, defiled caskets of seraphim saints, bearing my brother's names and my own, the irony of Cain's blasphemous act rushed in on me with the crushing force of revelation. Were my hands not as bloody as these? Worse, I had spilled the blood of my brothers, these very comrades whose tombs lay ravaged before me. Yes, Raziel, you were Seraphan, born of the same force that all but destroyed your race. Before the dawn of the Empire, you were chosen. Cain, Nosgoth's solitary self-declared monarch, plundered this tomb and raised you from these crypts. Breathing his vampiric gift into your defiled corpses, he resurrected you as his favored sons. North of the Seraphim tomb, a desecrated abbey languishes, half-drowned. Heretic, you shall not pass. Such loyalty to one who has you guarding this outpost like a chained dog. Do you prosper on the scraps he casts you? Your insults will do nothing to blunt the agonies of your demise. Cain killed me once. Behold the result. I have no more to fear from you. This 
relic has infused you with the power to compress and manipulate space. As your symbiotic weapon, the Soul Reaver is also thus enhanced. You may focus and project an orb of kinetic energy to strike objects that are otherwise beyond your reach. a sanctuary against the vampire menace. This abbey has been drowned by the deluge spilling from this wounded land. Your brother Rahab and his brood, devastated even by the feeble rays of Nazgoth's sun, overcame their vulnerability to water and retreated from the surface. Now they haunt these ruins and glide in the darkness of its stagnant depths. Rahab, you have adapted well to your environment, for one so maladjusted. Do not mock me, Raziel. You of all of us should respect the power bestowed by a limitation overcome. Cain said you would come. You speak with the murderer? You would do well to mind your blasphemous tongue. What more did he tell you? That you would destroy me. I will indeed. But tell me, before I tear your soul from its moorings, do you know what we were before Cain spawned us? Human. Seraphan Rahab, the antithesis of all we ever believed. Does it matter? We were lost. He saved us. Saved us? From what? From ourselves. With Rahab's soul, you have overcome your former vulnerability to water's touch. Immersion in water will no longer dissolve your physical body, enabling you to swim to areas heretofore beyond your reach. Beyond the maelstrom of the abyss, a subterranean tunnel leads northward to the clan territory of your brother, Dumas. Endowed with Rahab's soul, you may swim to gain entry where your progress was previously impeded. This elemental forge is tuned to the Soul Reaver's energy. Once baptized in this primordial flame, the blade may be imbued with fire at any future time. 
The human citadel. Its towering walls and deep moats engineered to keep Nosgoth's vampire plague at bay. Though the city was well fortified against vampires, its human architects hadn't considered a breach by a creature such as myself. With this artifact, your glyph energy capacity is increased. Beyond the cliffs that witnessed your execution, a silent city sits in frozen tableau. Locked in eternal limbo, they await redemption or release. This city once teemed with the life of my kind. Could it be that other clans had suffered the same fate as mine? In his madness, could Cain spare none of his brood? It was not Cain, but Dumas' own arrogance that brought the downfall of his clan. These are human weapons, Raziel. Believing themselves invincible, Dumas and his offspring failed to see an attack coming from the least likely assailants. Complacent in their arrogance, they were taken by surprise, allowing the human vampire hunters to decimate their ranks with little resistance. The few that escaped have been reduced to scavengers. My brother Dumas, a powerful warrior in life, he would have burned with shame to have me find him here like a stuck pig. Unbound at last. I thank you, brother. Your thanks are premature, Duma. I have not forgotten whose hands bore me into the abyss. The centuries in limbo have honed my strength. Not even Cain is my equal. Even the strongest vampire is vulnerable. We shall test your thesis, Raziel. My bloodthirst has been superseded by an even darker hunger. I will consume your soul before this day is done. 